This is the new Pro War Eagle football jig. Check this thing out, two sizes, a half ounce and a three quarter. Unique head on this one. It's the first thing I'm gonna call out. It's wide like your traditional football head, but it's also keeled at the bottom with a recessed line tie. All of these features allow this bait to crawl through the rocks and create less snags as you're dragging it along the bottom. Another great feature is the weed guard here. It's really soft. Not too soft where you're getting hung if it gets in a brush pile, but soft enough that it's not gonna to impede that fish and get a good hookup. My favorite feature might just be the hook itself. It's a medium gauge wire, not too thin, not too thick. So when you make that long bomb cast, you're fishing a flat and you get a fish right as it hits the bottom and you pull into a hook set, this super sharp medium wire hook is gonna penetrate that fish with ease. This jig comes in really unique colors, super natural, just like War Eagle brings every time they bring a bait. If you want one of the most realistic ways to duplicate or replicate a crawfish, a football jig is it. It looks like a scurrying crawfish crawling across the bottom, trying to get away from that bass. So the prime time to throw a football jig is really the winter time. When fish get away from that shad bite, they're really pressed down to the bottom, focused on rock structure. That is the prime time. So November, all the way into January, February, right before that pre-spawn is a dynamite time and my favorite time to throw a football jig. Football jigs were designed specifically for rock. It doesn't matter if it's riprap, man-made rock, chunk rock, pea gravel, it does not matter. That's what this bait is designed for. So when you're fishing a lake or a river that has that type of cover, a football jig is the best way to duplicate a crawfish or maybe even a small perch that's feeding along the bottom. You always wanna put a trailer on your football jig. Two choices that I go with, one that moves a lot of water and then one that's more subtle. So my favorite two, this is my personal opinion, my favorite two, number one, if the water's fairly warm so you're not dead of winter, maybe it's this fall transition, you want something that's got a little bit of movement. So I love a crawl chunk or a spine crawl. Those are my two choices for movement. Now, my dead winter choice, hands down, is a yum crop happy. I love that thing because it's got a super realistic look. So when you're dragging that football jig really slow, those pinchers will come up and it has a super realistic profile look. And then it doesn't move. You don't have a lot of rapid movement because when that water temperature is cold, nothing is moving quickly. Everything's just crawling along slowly. So it's all about making sure you got that right movement when the water temperature is super cold. And that's why I like crop happy.